what's up youtube photographer ronix from running photographer and yeah before i can go on with this video i would like to thank you guys for we are almost reaching 700 subscribers on this channel and thank you guys and if you're if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button before we can kick in and edit this video and yeah this image specifically was taken by a photographer is called wheels pro media i'm going to put their link down in the description so that you guys can follow them on their instagram and i want to show you guys my settings for my mixture brush tool when i'm going to do my freaking separation and yeah uh before i can go ahead i want to show you guys what i really do to get the right texture of the skin when i'm going to do my freaking separation using a mixture brush tool i've been getting so many questions about people failing to get the right settings for the mixture brush tool when they are trying to blend the skin tones together and yeah this video is for you guys and i want you guys to learn how i do this and how i set up my mixture brush tool when i'm going to do my freaking separation so let's kick in and start editing this very image by Wiz Pro Media. I'm going to put the link then down in the description. So, as usual, when you're going to do your frequency separation, for me, I prefer first of all retouch the retouch the image. Sorry about that. Before I can remove the blemishes from the pot from the portrait. So first of all, I prefer first of all duplicate this drag and drop here or you can just click ctrl j on the keyboard ctrl j to duplicate it and if you don't have this frequency separation action i have a video i'm going to put the link up there and you guys can check out how you can create your own frequency separation action so since i have the action i'm just going to play it just come and play the frequency separation action yeah i'm not going to retouch this image completely but I just want to show you guys my settings to get the right texture in your portraits and to avoid having a plastic image so uh, when you come to your radius make sure just make sure you you slide the radius until you you are kind of getting less of the details so since I already tracked this image and I know the settings I used I used to because just make sure you slide until you're losing out the details in the skin so as you can see right on the forehead right here so 12 will do for this image and the higher the radius the more texture you get in your portrait so after you have created this frequency separation action just come right on the high frequency layer and create a black and white layer because we want something that is going to guide us when we are trying to uh, blend these uneven skin tone, tones together. So, as you know, when you're using a mixer brush tool, we are trying to blend these uneven skin tones. As you can see, the bumpiness in the skin. So, just come after creating your black and white and pull the reds all the way down because. We want to see this unevenness in the skin so that is fine then click on your lower frequency and come under the brushes just right click and look for your mixer brush tool just right click but since i already put mine out of the group of brushes mine is always around here so right now this is the major emphasis of this video and yeah, for your settings of the Mr. Brush tool, make sure it is in the default, first of all, when you click on it. So just come right here, drop down here and clean the brush. So make sure this first box, this first icon is not checked and make sure this is cancelled. So when this is cancelled, it makes uh it makes sure that it cleans every stroke of the brush you are going to be applying right here i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah it's uh like when you're painting and you dip your paint brush in water every time you finish a stroke and you're going to start painting using another color i hope you guys can understand this 
<clears throat> sorry so right here make sure your witness is at nine percent yeah because I use this for almost all my images and I retain the text you see in most of my portraits. So make sure the wetness is at 9, the load is at 75, the mix is at 90 and the flow is at 100%. So make sure this right here, sample all layers is not checked. So let me repeat, just come right here, make sure your brush is clean, yeah, so make sure this is selected because we want uh, the brush to clean itself every time we finish we, we, we get done painting over the, the skin and blending it will clean itself automatically so for these settings right here the wetness is at 9% the load is at 75% the mix is at 90% and the flow is at 100% these are my settings for a mixer brush rule. So guys, make sure you get it right from this video and make sure sample all layers is not checked. So the problem with most of you guys who are having issues using this mixer brush tool is because uh, you get these settings right here wrong. So you end up not getting the perfect result. So, Make sure you are on your lower frequency layer right here in your frequency separation action or group. Yeah, it is a group frequency separation group. Make sure you created the black and red as we did before, and you are on your lower frequency layer because we want something that is going to guide us when you are trying to blend these uneven skin tones together. So your new lower, your, when your new lower frequency, sorry about that, uh, it is late in the night and I'm trying to create content for you guys. Um, just increase the brush and when you're painting, make sure you paint the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone and the shadows alone. So let me start painting and blending these these areas and make sure when you're doing your mixing don't over zoom in your image yeah don't do this this is too much just put it at a reasonable size and start blending this bumpiness on the skin of the model so just continue as you think I'm mixing the highlights alone the shadows alone and the mid-tones alone as you can see on my brush i'm retaining so so much texture and the image is remaining as natural as possible so you can see i'm going to turn off the black and red and make sure you make this a habit when you're doing your retouching so turn off your black and red and see your progress so before after you can see the bumpiness right on the forehead of the model has gotten rid of yeah we have gotten rid of the bumpiness so turn back this on and see where you need to blend more yeah and continue doing this and let me show you guys uh, the reason that's why most people have issues with this is because they tend to turn the wetness all the way up because when you turn it around uh 58 and you start painting let me show you guys you can see the image loses so much texture and doesn't look nice at all let me show you guys we just painted right here so you can see right here we lost too too much texture and the highlight right on the on the cheekbone was lost in the process so make sure your wetness is not too high so make sure you use i'll stick to my nine so i'll stick to my nine as usual so remember when we did that we lost most of the highlights so i'm going to undo that i have to undo 
I'll have to undo this. So make sure you're on your lower frequency. And now we're going to come back right here and we put back our witness to nine. So I'll just elaborating for you guys how witness can affect the outcome of your portrait. So just come. We have these shadows right here on the nose bridge. You see I'm mixing the shadows alone and we have this highlight. I'm blending it alone too. So just come. You can see right here we have some unevenness. So just come and try to blend it. So I won't do the retouching for this image because I want to save time for you guys. I just don't want this video to be a long one. I just want to show you guys my settings for the mixture brush tool when I'm going to do the frequency separation and make sure when you're using this don't over mix a particular area because you may end up losing so much detail and flattening the portrait. So I'm going to turn off the black and red so I can show you guys the progress for this image. So I'm going to zoom back. So before, after you can see it is subtle and it has really got done of this bumpiness on the skin. So before, after, before, after. So let me hit back to the settings for mixer brush tool. Uh, this is like a recap. Mixer brush tool is selected, the settings, make sure it is a clean one, make sure this here is selected, and the wetness is at 9, the load is at 75, the mix at 90, and the flow at 100, make sure sample all layers is not checked, and uh, remember in your frequency separation group, create a black and white layer on top of your higher frequency or your texture layer to guide you when you're doing your mixing and when you're mixing make sure you mix the mid-tones alone the highlights alone and the shadows alone because you don't want to flatten the image and lose the highlights and those vital vital makeup details so this has been a video about the settings i use for my mixer brush tool when i'm doing my frequency separation or skin retouching in photoshop and if at all you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button drop the comment and hit the like button and when you subscribe don't forget to click on the notifications bell so that you'll be notified every time we upload a video on this channel i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching till next time